All right, so in this lecture, I'm very, very excited because um, this was one of the, I guess, real um, goals that I had in the beginning when I was you know, beca becoming more and more social uh, was to know how to work a room and be kind of the, 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 the unofficial host, if you will, but more importantly, the life of the party of, um, of a place that I went to, uh, whether it's a bar or a restaurant or anywhere where I would just take over the place, if you will. So I'm going to give you the way that I, if I'm in that mood and I want to kind of just work the room and that sort of thing, the way that I do it, uh, and that it's a lot less pressure. It's a lot of fun. And if you're feeling confident and you're feeling courageous about it and you're ready for it, then I would suggest you try it. So first of all, what I do is I walk up and, you know, I'm already maybe talking to some people in the streets. I'm saying hello and whatever, pumping myself up. I've already done my routine in my head where I'm saying, you know, it's going to be amazing, extraordinary and so on. I go into the, you know, into the venue and I start talking to the staff. Hey, how's it going, man? Cheers. How are you? And then I start going around and saying, hey, cheers, cheers. Let's say this is a social event or a networking event. I would say, cheers, what's going on? Hey, how are you? And introduce myself. I go on and begin to have very short conversations with a lot of people. So I might say, hey, how are you? Hey, how's it going? You know, like, well, that's cool, awesome. And start talking, uh, what are you up to this weekend? What are you up to today? All right, cool. Um, and go from there and just social, um, light conversation. And I'm like, and then after that, I say, well, great, great speaking to you. I'm going to either, uh, if I don't have a drink on my hand, which um, if I'm just getting there, it might be the case. I, I'm going to grab a drink. Um, I'll see you in a minute. I'll see you in a bit. And then again, I'm remembering their names. I'll see you in a bit, Carol. I'll see you in a bit, uh, Joe or whatever it is, whoever it is. And then I, and then as I'm walking away, I encounter more people. Hey, how's it going? Cheers. Yeah, I'm just grabbing a drink. Yeah, how are you? that kind of stuff and then i go and do this over and over with multiple people and just say hey, how's it going same conversation same it doesn't have to be you know again there'll be differences because it's different people there'll be different jokes different questions but ultimately same structure same conversation hey how are you what's going on yeah what are you up to what's new in life um if it's someone i know but or what's exciting right now for you at work or whatever let's say it's a networking event uh, but again, mostly you want to keep it fun. You want to stay away from work for the most part, I would say. And and you keep doing that over and over. Great to meet you. All right, well, I'll see you in a minute. Um, I'm going to go and talk to a few more people. And uh, yeah, let's connect. Um, and then that's what you do throughout the room. And just keep doing that. You keep ending the conversation first. Ending the conversation first. Moving from group to group. If you want to take it a step further, you can begin as you encounter the same people that you've been talking to and say, hey, Carol, what's going on? Hey, this is this is Joe, by the way. You can begin to introduce them together. It's that simple. So you visualize that. If you want to have that kind of a thing, when whether it's like you're going to a networking event or whatever, then you can visualize it over and over in your head that that's what you're doing and the responses that you're getting. And that's how you train yourself to work your room, work the room um, before you even get there. And then once you get there, it'll be a lot easier to actually do it. So that is what I have to say about it. Um, think about it like a game and think about it like a sport. A lot of people, as I've probably mentioned before in this lecture, uh, in this lecture, sorry, uh, is that even athletes, you know, visualize what, how a play is going to go before they even do it. So same thing with this. Visualize how you're working the room, you have a short conversation, you're ending the conversations first, and you can insert, you know, exchanging information or that sort of thing as well, which I'm going to go over in uh, a little while. All right, try it and let me know how it works.